Welcome. We're really excited for you to join us here at Cutting Edge Health for your first brain mapping, which sounds scary, but it's not. We're going to walk you through what to be able to expect and how to know how to be prepared for day one and what you need to know so that way you're not surprised. So day one. One of the things that you're going to get introduced to is going to be the chair. If you haven't seen it already, it looks a little bit like this. You can see the chair that's present there, the back component that allows for us to be able to place the coil, which we're going to talk about in detail in just a little bit to help us with this area of this brain mapping. The mapping itself is going to be about 20 minutes in duration, and it's not going to really be anything that's going to be taxing for you. It's not going to be uncomfortable. It's not going to be painful. In essence, what it lets us be able to do is to find the specific targeted area for you. And I know that sounds fairly... Uh, I don't know, kind of remote, maybe scary or not really kind of connecting, like what the heck are we saying? So let me use an analogy to be able to kind of explain it. There are some people who can navigate specifically by streets. If you tell them, hey, you go to Main Street and you turn right on Napanee and you go left to Kasopolis, then you can find where the Walgreens happens to be. There's other people who navigate based off of landmarks. Like, you know what? Hey, look, I'm going to tell you. I don't know the street names, but if you know how to be able to get to the Wendy's and the Menards, you can find it really easily. You take a turn and on the right hand side, you're going to see a bunch of trees on the left hand side. There'll be a Chinese restaurant. You keep going straight by two streets and you turn right by the statue. That is what we're utilizing and be able to find your area. That's going to be the targeted area that we're looking to be able to treat. In essence, we're using a landmark, which is going to be that of your finger or thumb moving to be in relationship to the area of depression. We're going to explain that in more detail. So again, this is the chair you're going to sit in. It's going to recline. We're going to get you comfortable. The staff's going to talk to you, put you at ease. Nothing for you to do in terms of the type of clothing that you're going to wear. Something loose, something's comfortable. Um, If you're coming from work, you don't have to change into anything. It's not going to be something that's going to be taxing. We're not going to mess up your clothes. It'll be pretty easy to be able to kind of deal with. Okay. Second is the area and what we're going to use to find the region of area of interest. And that's going to be the coil. So you can kind of see this area of the coil that sits here. It's one of the things that's unique about the machine that we have. Nothing for you to do with the air, that aspect of the coil. But at the end of the day, we're going to be moving this in and around your head with while you have a cap on that we've given to you. That's kind of like a swimming cap, if you would, that lets us be able to measure certain areas. Many people ask before I go into detail, can they bring someone with you? Of course you can. That person can be able to come in if they want. They can sit there in the actual room while we're doing the, t- the actual testing. Or if they want, they can sit in the waiting room and be there for you afterwards. And then many people will say, OK, so is this going to affect me greatly afterwards? Am I going to be able to drive if I wanted to come by myself? Yeah, you could drive. You. This is not going to be something that's going to cause you to be disoriented, uh, un unencumbered or have any type of issues that are going to kind of um, cause you problems that you can't be able to manage stuff for yourself. The timing, as I alluded to before, is give or take about 20 minutes or so. So what does that coil do? Well, that coil has magnetic pulses and those magnetic pulses have a whole host of things that are associated with it. So if we're to take a look at a pictorial representation, it looks like the following. It's going to have a pictorial representation that's going to a portion of the brain. And most people are like, oh man, that looks scary. It's not. It's been done for decades and done safely for decades. And it's been done in our office for quite some time. So we know that this is a safe procedure. It's not going to be something that's going to be bad. So why are we doing that? What we're looking to do is we're looking to be able to activate an area of the brain that connects all the way through the spinal cord down to the finger and have the finger kind of give us that landmark element that I talked about before. So why the area of the finger? Because in the brain on something that's called the motor strip, there's something that's called a homunculus. So what does that mean? So pictorial represented, it it looks like this. So you can see like if this is the air of the brain, there's a certain part of the brain that controls your tongue, your face, your hand, your arm, all these type of things. So the area in and around the hand, that's what lets us be able to get to certain parts of the brain. So if we're using this picture to kind of have a little bit better understanding of that, we take a look at the brain, we can see there are different areas that are targeted for depression and for pain and for anxiety and for addiction and for emotional regulation. And in this case, we're interested in depression and that depression area is really close to that motor strip. So once we can be able to find that, then we can move it at a later point in time. And the experience that you get is you get these treatments of this magnetic coil 
with a pulse that comes to the skull, there's an electrical current inside that it's actually regulated by your own brain, not any electrical sensation that you feel from us. And those areas then go to different parts of the brain and then impact the areas that we want to try to be able to make you feel better. So at the end of the day, what's a summary of this? So that way you can be able to kind of have a quick kind of cheat sheet, if you would. In essence, one of the things is that you're going to sit in a comfortable chair. And during that time, we're going to ask you to do a number of different things for you to kind of just relax, chill out, have no problems or issues. Number two, you're going to have these magnetic pulses that are going to be delivered and you're going to feel a little bit. But at the end of the day, it's going to be something like maybe a tappy, a tingly, a warming sensation, but it's normally not painful for the vast majority of people. And then the other thing is that you'll be alert throughout the aspect of the mapping and also during the treatment, and you can be able to resume your normal activities afterwards. What most people will ask is, should they take their regular medications? And for the most part, yes. However, I will have you talk to the staff a bit because there are certain medications that actually can decrease your responsiveness to our mapping. So we want to talk to you about those medications. Those are going to be traditionally things that are a little bit more kind of calming in terms of like medicines, but we'll give you specific ones. And if you haven't had a chance to ask that question, ask it to us. We'd be happy to kind of answer those questions for you in detail. Hopefully this has been able to kind of allay your concerns, be able to put you at ease. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you so much and have a great day.